All right, guys, I'm going back to back tonight. I don't do that too much anymore, but when I have big recording artists that are on their come up, that are serious about their craft, um, that I respect personally, we got Jazzy J up in the studio right now. You know what it is? Yes, sir. You know the vibes. What's the deal? <laughs> Yo, you got this pretty little smile to you. You know, you got these big white teeth. We need these. Uh, we need this. Uh, we need a company to sponsor you or something with those shiny ass teeth for real. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Hell that. yeah. Um, are you from here? Born in Arizona. I was born in Mesa. Okay. So yes, I am from Arizona. It's my hometown right here. Born and raised in Mesa. Yes. Yeah. Well, Mesa, Chandler, a little bit of Phoenix. You know, I've been okay. I've been all around the valley. Um, I used to skate at Rolero, so that's like South Phoenix. When you say skate, like uh, roller skate. Okay. I roller skate. I grew up roller skating. Um, my family's from LA. On the ice. No. Okay. It's like, <laughs> like the four roller blades. Like the four wheels. Got yeah, you. but not the blades. The inline. I got so you. That's what I'm used to. My family's from LA, so this what I grew up doing. Facts. And then the whole family moved out here? Or just Not you? the whole family. So I'm the only one out of my four siblings who is um born in Arizona. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just I'm I'm the you know how it's one star on the Arizona flag? Yes. That's me. Because I'm the only one born in Arizona. Fact. They all from Inglewood and then my dad's side of the family's from Brooklyn. So I get the best of both worlds, east and west coast. You're all over the place. Yes, sir. How old are you? I'm twenty. I'll be twenty one in I two love weeks. It. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. You're young. Um the reason why I say that is because people like you that have um, the charisma, the energy, the enthusiasm, the excitement, um, and you're only 20 turning 21, that really just says the sky's the limit. Um, that's fire that you're young, that you're on the come up right now, and that you know what you want to do. Um, what is it exactly that you want to do in this game? <laughs> in this game, in I, this need, I need y'all to hear me. I need to help the world. I need to, um, it's a... I have a different sound when people ask me, like, who do you compare yourself to or who do you think you sound like or what would you say you are? I'm just I'm Jazzy J and I'm here. I'm here for the people. I'm here to help the culture. I'm just I'm here to get the vibe right. So when you say that, you know, to help the world, to, to bring some positivity, um, to get the world right, all that. Does that come with the message that is in your music or does that come with the work that you're doing outside of music? Where does that come from? That's all of the above. The message in my music is for the people to relate to. Um, I want people to be able to feel what I'm saying and feel like, of course, okay, so I have music that's jumpy, like, like let's get lit, the like, oh, I'm partying. And then I also have music like, oh, okay, like, damn, I feel this. Like, I can relate to that deeply. They can feel and your pain like, in it. Exactly. I don't want people to feel like, oh, I'm alone. Like, you're not alone because we doing this, we in this together. And I just have to showcase that. So does the music that you showcase come from you know, things that have happened in your life, um, situations that you've been in growing up, or it can be anything, relationships, family, sh the struggle, the the success, everything? Absolutely. Absolutely. It's all of the above. It's everything for me. So what would you say really is, what would you just say was a defining moment for you that was like, you know what, I know I need to do this? <laughs> a defining moment for me. Um, could it be multiple? For sure. <laughs> Um, just the feedback I've gotten, um, I've been doing this since I want to say I came out the womb, but I've really been on stage since I was four years old. So it's just this, the energy for me, it's the fact that if somebody's having a bad day, it's they, they can come to me and I can help them out if that makes sense. Like, it's just... You got a positive aura for sure. You, you guys, you got this aura to you for sure. <laughs> You're shining, you, that you. most definitely. So I can <laughs> see uh, where people gravitate towards you. Exactly. So... It's there. It is what it is. So I'm assuming the lyrics in your song, you know, there's there's ones that, like you just said, are it's jumpy for the club. It's um, you can feel the pain and people can relate to it. They can maybe get something out of it. Have you had some fans or, or friends or anybody DM you supporters and be like, or just hit you and be like, yo, the, I, I really got, that made my day or I really felt this? Oh, definitely. I've had people just reach out to me and say like, that was different coming from you. And that's just, people send me videos of them listening to a few of my songs and they sing in the lyrics behind it. And I'm like, wow, like that's impactful for me. Like just to know if I'm, if I'm not making a difference in like, I don't care about the comments, I don't care about the likes, whatever, the views, whatever. If it's one person that's impacted by what I'm saying, then I'm going to feel like I did my job. Most definitely. And it's crazy because, you know, these are lyrics that I'm assuming you wrote. Ex oh, I everything. So it from means the a ground lot to up. you. Absolutely. From mm -hmm. the ground up, I write everything. I do everything myself. So. Do you have kids? Absolutely not. 
<laughs> She's like, absolutely not. <laughs> that was a firm, absolutely not. <laughs> absolutely. You want not. kids one day? Eventually, okay. you know. But right now is not the time. I want to be that. able to bring kids into the world where I feel like I'm stable enough for that. For sure. So you want to get, um, you want to get the bag in the music game first, secure all that, um, get yourself to the goals that you want to reach. Yeah. And then maybe you have a kid one day. We'll see. Who knows? Who knows? I'm 34. I don't have kids yet, so. Okay. Uh, maybe, but ain't maybe, nothing wrong with it. Exactly. Either. <laughs> not yet. Soon. Maybe one day. Um, <laughs> Maybe one day. So do you got projects out right now? I have a project I'm working on that I want to drop. It's going to be an EP. It's called Is It Illegal? Okay. So we've just been, you know, the struggle is real. I'm not going to sit here and say it's not, but we've been on the back burner just working behind the scenes. It's called It Is Illegal or? Is It Illegal? Is It Illegal? Like, okay. que like a question. Is okay. it illegal? Okay. So um, that's definitely, definitely on its way. Five, six, seven track EP? Seven. Seven track EP. That's kind of the way people are, are rolling things out right now. Want to start off small and then eventually drop a debut or, you know, just keep the ball rolling. And I, what I want to do is have the single and the single that I want to drop is going to be the intro to the EP. So that way when the EP drops, it's like, oh, OK, I've heard this before. Oh, OK, that's Jazzy J. You feel sure. what I'm saying? So, OK. Yeah. So when you say the struggle is real, explain that. The struggle is really real. Like um, people don't care about you. You know what I'm saying? Like, people care about you, but people don't care about you, for real. Um, you just gotta, you really, I've always been a very independent person. I'm not the type to, um, like, oh, can you give me this? Like, let me, I'm, I don't like handouts. So I'm just, I'm gonna make it happen. I'm making it happen my way, regardless. If somebody, you know, um, what's that word? Like, suggests that I go this way, but I'm not feeling like I should, then I'm okay, okay, I'll take your advice, but, you know, I feel like I can do it better this way. Or it's just, it's going to happen how I think it's supposed to happen, whether, whether people like it or not. So, so is, is it illegal is coming? The project, is it already done? It's almost done. I feel like we need, I want more visuals to it. That's Vi why. You got video shot for it already? Absolutely. Okay, but so you're good. It needs, it needs more. I just. You need to tune it up a little bit. I love having the music and then the art behind it, so it really pushes that picture. So I don't like I can just drop the songs randomly. I can drop the songs whenever, but if I have that visual, I'ma feel much better about it. Do you got management right now? My momager. Okay. <laughs> Mom's the manager right now. Absolutely. Fire. We stay independent everywhere at all angles. So what's it like you uh, for you to be working with your mom? You know, on this kind of angle as the business side of it all. It's great. Um. You know, she's not really, she supports. You guys are really close, obviously, then. Pretty, I would say so. I would say we're not, like, not too bad. She also gives me my space at the time that I need it. So it's not like she's going to push me to do what I need to do. Um, if I was to say I'm done tomorrow, she'll support it, but she'll be like, well, like, what's going on? Why? Like, this is what you've loved to do since she was little. So she's not going to, she don't force me to do anything is basically what I'm trying to say. So when you said you were on stage when you were little, were you just doing like school plays or what were you doing? Like I did the church? I did talent shows. I did, I was in Atlanta. I was in Seattle. I did like random, just random pop-up shows. Like I just, I've been on stage my whole life. So it's nothing to you? <laughs> you no stage fright to you? <laughs> no, absolutely not. Have you been able to perform your music yet at a, any venues or have you done any shows? Uh-huh. Of course. Where at? Um, Scottsdale, uh, perform with Futuristic. Okay. Shout out my man Futuristic. He Shout let out. me be Devon Terrell for a, for a few days out his tour. That was lovely. That was part you of did my his dream. Tour? Mm -hmm. I uh, he was one of my first interviews ever. Oh really? Like a third interview. Yeah. Shout out that man. He's he's amazing for real. I love um, how he's independent and I love how much he puts on for Arizona. How much he reps Arizona because we don't really get that much love out here. Most definitely. He's mm -hmm. definitely a staple out here. You got his thing, uh, Indie Amplify, going right now, too. Absolutely. Were you with J-Rob the Chief there as well at that tour? Yeah, I just did not perform with him. I met him. We had some a few conversations, but I know who he is. I did a few of his challenges, actually. For real? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, yeah. He got a, he got a new track out called Chill. Um, I've had J-Rob on the show a few times as well. I pretty much interviewed all these artists here in Arizona. Oh, really? Hopefully, I can get Futuristic to come back soon. Um we just started following each other on Instagram and stuff. So Definitely. Um, we'll see what happens with that. But um, so you, you opened up for Zach or Futuristic? So I based, I knew the songs that he was performing and he was like, he just pulled me up on stage like, hey, everybody shout out my girl. Like she knows, she know every, every bar, every lyric. And I was like, that's like, just to give me that experience, you know what I'm saying? And exposure too. Exactly. And it was just, it was like two times out here and two times in California. 
With so, with Zach? Yes. Okay. <laughs> so you know, he about to have a baby though too. For sure, I saw that. And his girl like braided my hair before and everything. Like it was like that type. Okay, cool. She came to the house when I lived in California, so it's all in the family. We love that. Yeah, most yeah. definitely. Um, what are your goals right now? Like, wh- what's the deal? Because we got what two, three months left of this year. Um, the project's coming. What do you have? Kind of like a release date for that yet? I don't have a release date. Okay. I do have a release date for a single, though. Okay. And Let's get probably, it. We're probably going to drop it on my birthday. My birthday is October 29th. 21? 20, yes. On my 21st so birthday. So Halloween weekend's going to be fucking nuts for it's you. It's going to be nuts. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, after that, we're just going to see how, how y'all rocking with it, and we're going to drop this project. Um, but... Every time it comes towards the end of the year, it's just, that's the most meat and potatoes that I, that I get out of my music. So this is a big 21st birthday for you. It's going to be a big single for you. That's going to come off the project. Is it illegal? Um, it's going to be on your 21st birthday, Halloween weekend. What day is uh, your birthday falling this year? Friday. So it's Halloween weekend for real, for, <laughs> for real. real. For real, for real. Yeah, it's going to be crazy. It's, this, my, this is my birthday present to myself. Okay. You're going to so. make it to Vegas anytime after your 21st? I, we going to Vegas yeah. for my twenty first. There you go. Oh, you're going. You're gonna be in Vegas for. <laughs> yes, oh sir. shit! I'll see you there. Man, yeah, you probably really will. <laughs> to be real with you, absolutely. What's crazy is I go to Vegas all the time, but I've never been there Halloween weekend. I'm there like once a week, but I've never been there Halloween weekend. But I actually do think this year I will be there. So oh, uh, it's gonna be crazy. I maybe plan we'll connect. To just, we gonna we gonna go crazy. You got a crew street. going. You got a big crew. Absolutely. You got, got the Airbnb already. Okay. Locked in. Okay. Okay. Oh, this shit's already, you're already way ahead of the game. <laughs> Locked in. Okay. I see you. Maybe you can get a, a music video out out there too. That'd be fire. Mm-hmm. I mean, I had like, it wasn't like a music video. It was a little freestyle video. And okay. it was just on the strip and people was interested. Um, I had people just trying to give me money out of nowhere. <laughs> okay. This is how Take y'all that. do it in Nevada. Okay. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, who are artists right now that you're rocking with heavy? Like, out here or just in general? Let's start here in Arizona, actually. Let's start here in Arizona and let's go in general. Here in Arizona, that... I'm hmm. assuming futuristic. She, absolutely. Always futuristic is going to be number one on my list. Um, I don't know if you heard. I've worked with uh, Check and Traps. Okay. You know Check and Traps. I've heard them. Check and Traps. That I did a few records with Diamond Studded. We have a Spanish song actually coming out. You speak so, Spanish? Uh, un poquito. Okay. Muy poquito. Mis abuelos de Puerto Rico. So. You got it, though. <laughs> <laughs> Do you speak Spanish? Poquito. Okay. <laughs> Not really at all, to be honest with you. I know a few <laughs> words here and there. Definitely. Um, There's a lot of it's a lot of artists out here, actually, in the big game. It's um, Zeke, um, Big Big Meech. Call me on, call me on the spot. Call we got a lot out here. We, we, you know, do, we can we keep do. going. We got a lot. We, keep we, going got, uh, list, um, we got a lot of artists out here. For real though. Go ahead, spit some names out for me. Man, I can go. We got Samara Sin, who I think is uh, a staple out here right now. I okay. think she's gonna be one of the biggest artists to come out of Arizona. Um, we have obviously Sincerely Collins, who's been a staple here for a very long time. Yes, sir. Sincerely Collins, absolutely. We got the real Kyrie up in here. Um, absolutely, the real. That's my man. I just you met see? him not too long okay. ago. Everybody loves yes, Kyrie. Sir. There's not one person that doesn't just say Beyond fuck it. the artists, all of them. Yep. Yes, sir. everybody loves Kyrie. Kyrie's been one of the most genuine people to me uh, since I moved here and in the scene. I got the utmost respect for him. Yeah, he's um, great. We got B Dot out here, obviously. Um, I'm missing names. These guys are gonna get mad at me. But um, RJ Soul, he's a big um, R&B artist that's out of here right now. Um, just a lot of artists, you know. They're mm-hmm. all they're J. Robs, obviously. You know. Yeah, uh, absolutely. J. Rob is my guy. He's yeah. he's very talented, extremely talented. Um, no big deal. I'm not sure if you heard of him. I think he just Boss did something too. for BET Awards. I'm not sure. No big deal. You gotta look him up. Okay. He fired. No um, big deal. Um, you're 20 years old. Mom's doing. Mom's the manager. Um, I don't know. Have, have any record labels reached out yet or and no i know we're early right now yeah we are early i believe but you got the image you got you know you they can probably start seeing your song so if i was a label you know this is the time actually i would want to reach out to you definitely at this young age um i'm not i'm not gonna say no names we gonna keep you don't it have confidential. to uh, but just know you know things is things is things is cooking in the back burner behind the scenes um i've been called for like reality tv shows so um like the rap game, not too long, like when I was younger, like 17 years old, because I was more of a teenage rapper industry with Jermaine Dupri, the Brat, um, Zaytoven, 
I was man you say Debrat's damn like you were in that generation and shit like damn that's my generation and shit <laughs> I love Debrat too look the shit you just can't fuck with well, that's years that's, ago that's, Foxy Brown remember her yeah Foxy Brown MC Light <laughs> the um, hot spot Queen the, Latifah the, yeah Lauren Hill absolutely Lauren Hill the miseducation of Lauren Hill has to go down as one of the best albums ever be made. Lauren Hill is the absolute greatest of, of all time. Respectfully. Is that your is that your favorite artist? Um, I have multiple favorite artists. Who are they? My very top favorite artist though is Tupac. Okay. It will always be Tupac number one. Uh Kendrick Lamar, Meek Mill, Lauren Hill, um who else? There's so many artists. Uh TLC. Beyonce, Rihanna, Kaylani. I love Kaylani. She's you're on a roll right now. Your name, your your name. Tiana Taylor. Tiana Taylor. She had a fire ass body though. I'll tell you that much. That's she fire. <laughs> I'm sorry to say that. Yo, Your mom better watch out. Huh? Like, <laughs> <laughs> you might not like that, but I'd be seeing her on the gram, bro. She be working out hard. Oh man, see, I need to get on her level. You know, I be less. I just um, I just got put on to what's his name, Jordan Armstrong. Okay. Uh, he's beautiful. He's more of a spiritual artist. Freaking, yeah, all that. ASAP Rocky, Kaylin For Real For Real, Bino, Steven G. Shout out my man. Show great. <laughs> you got producers you're locked in with too? Absolutely. Arizona and LA. So. Okay, so who are they in Arizona? Uh, Chop the Chef. Shout out my guy. We were working with him for a few years when uh, I did a cypher a couple years back. And it was at IDDC Studios in Mesa. And it was the first time I ever heard of him. And I swear I met I met Big Doobie. And I not even knowing Doobie uh, grew up with my family before I was even born. So I'm like, okay, nice, nice. <laughs> so Big Doobie, I met hell just King Dub, hella great artists. Um, Lexi Michonne, not too long ago, I did her uh like her rap battle, my first rap battle ever. So I met some dope artists. They, you did a rap battle? Absolutely. You be battling these people too? <laughs> You're about to freestyle tonight, so we're going to see that. I love battle rap. Charlie Cook's my favorite battle rapper ever in life. Arsenal, so disrespectful. Um, I just, I love hip-hop. I have a love for art of hip-hop. But yeah. Does that come from, like, just the writing end of it all, or where does it come from? Where does that love really come from for you? (sighs) The writing, the, the, the the therapy of it. The energy, the art of it, you can, you do anything you want. You're just hearing the way. It's authentic to you. Exactly. Different ways people portray themselves. It's art to them. So it's, I got a love for it at all angles. So is this what you're trying to do is like a full career too? Like you're trying to make all your money from this too? Or is this just something that's, um, I'm not going to call it a hobby, but is it something that, I guess, was a hobby the best word? I don't fucking know. What, it, what is it to you? What's this? What is? What do you want? What do you want this to eventually get to? Is this trying to be a full career? Are you trying to just make music right now and see what happens? Um, you trying to get rich as fuck off this? Like, what's what's the goals here? Definitely entrepreneurship is okay. my main goal. But music is, I just have a different love for it. Sometimes it knocks. It doesn't knock. Like sometimes I feel like me having to work. And, like, do music at the same time, I don't want to feel like this is my second option. I want to be able to put forth, like, put my all into it, put my foot into it. Like, Is that what you're doing right now? This is what I'm doing, like, right now. Like, I'm I'm going in. I'm getting older, and it's like I'm realizing She's I can't just. I'm getting older. <laughs> I, I, well, no, you, I know, you know how it goes. No, like, you're you. not going to be a teenager forever. For sure. you, know, you can't, like, be with your friends every two seconds of the day. Like, I feel like I just turned 21. Get it. Yeah. Straight up. <laughs> like, it's it's time to go get it. It's really something that's there for me. It's always something I fell back on. Music, writing. Like, every time I feel some type of way, I write it out. It's always something that's been there to catch me back. Like, it's my backbone. So that's what I need to start treating it like. So if you could have one feature from a female artist and one feature from a male artist, who's each one going to be? Oof. From any generation, any genre. Right now. From a female artist... I need a feature from, I need a feature from, sheesh, that's, that's a lot, a female artist. Um, We're going to do it, you know, they're saying, yo, you, this is, this is going to be it. You pick the artist, they're going to do the feature. You can only pick one though. Only one, that's why, that's why I'm tripping right now. I can only pick one when I want to pick like 10 of them. Okay, we're going to start with the male, because okay. dead or alive. No, they gotta be alive. Okay. 
Because they might be listening to this. <laughs> you heard Meek Mill's new album. I did. Expensive Pain. I like the album a lot. Absolutely. I'm going to have to give me. I've, I've always wanted to work with Meek Mill. I've been fucking with that track uh, on my soul. But, um, yeah, props to Meek Mill. But I'm look. happy for him that he just, uh, he, he was having a little rough. I would say he was in a little bit of a drought for a little bit. Mm -hmm. Um, Not that he like completely fell off or anything, but I'm happy he was able to put that project out. It kind of, I respect him a lot more for it too. Absolutely. But uh, Lil Baby, I need Lil Baby on my track. Okay. For sure. Like that man is crazy with his wordplay. Just, he just different. And he said he was going to, he was going to be a legend before 40. I think it's going to happen. Oh, he already is. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. That's why I need, him on my, I need him on my track, Lil Baby. Um, female, let's see. Mm. I don't know. Can it be like underground artists? It could be whoever too? you want. This is you. That's what I'm just saying. One like, female. It could be, it could be a local artist we might not even heard of. Yeah. So I'm going to have to go with my, my guys F and B in LA. Okay. okay. They go crazy. She got some real life stuff to talk about. Okay. And, um, I like how she just not out, not out here being a little hoochie, hoochie boochie. So. I'm what do you say, mean, like hoochie boochie? What's a hoochie boochie? Like, you know how they only talk about two things. Got you. Mm -hmm. Sexually and all. For and sure. That's just not my. Not maybe maybe when I grown her or whatever, but not right now. But F and B, shout out my guys, F and B. So what are you really talking about in your music then? Um, just real life shit. Stuff that I see on a daily basis. Really stuff that I been through but it's all happening so quickly it's all unraveling in front of my eyes so and I know like as soon like the more we push this basket the more I'm gonna have to talk about so I just gotta keep it going cause if I stop and if the world was to stop today and just crumble down I know I still have my music to fall back on so what are you most proud about yourself um, to get into the level you are right now to making the decision to leap into music and saying, I'm going to go full force with this. Cause I'm sure you've had nights where you're like, ah, oh, man, I just, I, I don't know. Like, I don't know if this is, this is what I want to do, or <laughs> I don't know if I want to put in all the work into this. Um, what do you, and this might be a, you know, it's kind of a tough question, I guess, but I'm going to ask it to you. So what are you most proud of for getting to where you're at right now? Even sitting down right here. Cause like, I'm just not interviewing everybody either to be real. With you. Right. I'm just, I'm proud of myself for continuing. I'm proud of myself for never letting anybody hold me back. Um, I've did I've done things with the help of others, and I've done things by myself at this young age. So I'm just I really have that like that for me to just really be able to look at myself and say, "Wow, I have that willpower. I have that I have that force." Like you got a great charisma to you. You got um you know great energy to you. You're you, like you said, you know you're you're turning 21, but you you already are independent. Um, you're not relying on anybody to to handle your business. You got your mom that's handling some management right now. Hopefully, she gets super busy. You might need to bring in more people into the team. We don't know. Right. Um, maybe you'll even get a, a deal coming to you. Would you entertain a deal too? At this point, no. Wow. I'm, I'm not interested. No. Um, <laughs> I'd, I'd rather. So if I said here's five hundred grand in a deal, you'd say I'm not interested. Absolutely. Damn. Russ, I don't even know. I would say that <laughs> I might take that five hundred grand. We gotta look at Russ. <laughs> we gotta look at Young and May. Right they, the sports book. <laughs> they doing what they gotta do. That they a hundred percent independent. So, um, so that's the route you want to go. Absolutely, I I I want to do it. It's crazy. <laughs> so many people are like all over the place. Like, no, I'm taking the money. No, I'm I'm not. I'm not signing at all. Fuck fuck the labels. I mean, 500, 500K right now just doesn't excite me. I want to be Damn. able to work. <laughs> that excites me at 34. Fuck. Uh, well, I mean, it excites me, but you <laughs> know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not, oh, you going like, to put this piece of gold it in front can't, of my and face. And you're like, it can't make you forever. It's not it, forever yeah, money. Exactly. It's not, I feel like if I was to take that deal, I'm like, oh, that's what made me. That's, that's what put me on. No, Jazzy J did that because Jazzy J just kept going and she kept pushing. And that's what you got to do. It's possible. There's independent artists out there that is making their money, but. So, is it illegal is dropping? Um, we don't have an exact release date for it yet, but we do have the release date for a first single that's dropping the 29th. What's the single called? Frozen. Okay, so it's called Frozen. We're going to be frozen on the 29th. <laughs> um, it's happening on the 29th. Video's already <laughs> shot? Absolutely. Rolling that out the same day? Absolutely. So you're dropping the video and the song the same day? Okay. On your birthday? On my, this is my birthday present. Uh, that's what would make me happy. Feedback. Feedback mm -hmm. and some good streaming numbers. Mm -hmm. You gonna have it? Is it already up for uh, pre-save yet or no? Pre-no. 
You got to get that up for pre-save. I sure do on all streaming platforms. So you're going to have it up on iTunes, the whole, you know, YouTube. Amazon, Spotify, Apple everywhere. Music, everywhere. You got people helping you, you know, distribute your music as well? I do that on my own too. Damn, um, look at this. All <laughs> over the place. Yeah. Write your own music, distribute your own music, um, plan Cover your own events. Art, all that. You do your own art too? All that. Really? Mm -hmm. You draw? Mm hmm Fire. I draw, I draw, I draw my what I want out, and I let the artist just you know. Okay. Make it pretty. Got you. <laughs> Make it pop. Right. So is Whoa Jazzy J on the gram? Is it Whoa Jazzy J on YouTube too? Absolutely. Everywhere. Everywhere. It's Whoa Jazzy J. Now I know you might have a question about my name, J A Z C. Yeah, so, I was gonna ask you that. Where are we getting that? What's up with that? <laughs> so. When you look up Jazzy J, just straight Jazzy J on Spotify or iTunes or something, you're going to see multiple artists. And you got to be able to see me. Nobody has a name Jazzy J. So when you look at Jazz C, C stands for my, my middle name initial. What's your so, middle name? Cherie. <laughs> Dang, we just going to throw my government out there. <laughs> <laughs> What's your social? <laughs> no, <I'm> <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. But Jazzy, Jazzy J. You see the C is basically standing, it's my middle initial, but it still gives that sound of Jazz Z. So like For Jazz sure. C. And A Z is right there in the middle because A Z is what I rap. I'm from Arizona. For sure. You seem like you're a person that's in tune with yourself. Um Are you a spiritual person? I would say so. Yeah. I would say I'm working on my spirituality. You meditate, stuff like that at all? Every day. Yoga. Do you? So you are a spiritual person. Well, I, don't, I don't meditate every day, okay. but you know, sometimes I need to take the, if I'm not working or like, you know, doing something, I need to take the time out to meditate. You um, work out and stuff like that? You have a workout regimen? Uh, yeah, absolutely. I'm at this, well, I'm at the apartment gym, but you know what it is. What it you is. eat clean and stuff like that too? All that? I try to. I try to stay healthy, healthy eating. Um, I lost a lot of weight actually, um, but I was eating healthier back then, which is why I'm confused. A lot of people are going vegan now, too. It's crazy. It's I don't weird. think I'll be able to do that. Maybe pescatarian. I'll just eat, like, salmon and fish and stuff, but I don't think I can just completely cut it out. Yeah. It's something that I've been ha I've been having a hard time eating meat recently, and it's not because, like, it's... I don't know what it is, but every time I eat meat now, I think of, like, that that thing was alive and, like, I'm eating a body. I don't know. It's fucking... Uh. It's, fucking it's actually really fucking with me, to be honest with you. Uh, it and just makes you feel some type of way. For real. Yeah, like, I, I just went. You. I went to the Cardinals game with my grandparents, and they got chicken fingers, and I'm like... I was just looking at it and like, uh, man, that's like somebody's fucking body. I don't know. But I just <laughs> Could do it. I'm having a hard time with it now recently, which is weird because I love food. Yeah. My um, body would start to like reject like uh, like beef and stuff. Like I couldn't eat in and out or Chick-fil-A makes my stomach hurt. Right. Yeah. It feels good when you eat good and you're, you know, and that's why I asked you because like it's good to be on a regimen and everything starts, you know, spiritually and mentally and then it. It comes out and you know, that way. in the it's, world. It starts making sense. Right. Yeah. Exactly. So I just been trying, you know, keep myself together. For sure. Right. So we're wrapping up twenty one soon. The the project's dropping the twenty ninth. Um, the first single called Frozen. Is that what you're most excited for? I guess the rest of the year then. I am excited. I'm very just um just because I haven't dropped in so long and everybody's just coming to me like. When are you dropping? Where's your music at? Like I know, I understand. Like I get it. You know, we go through rough patches in life, but I'm I'm super excited because um, it's takeoff time. Takeoff time. Because, yeah. So, do you think when you drop this project, is it illegal? Do you think after you drop it, that will be the time when people really start to notice you, gravitate towards you, um, and the numbers really start to go up? Absolutely. I Th honestly this is the project. wholeheartedly feel that way. Okay. Because it, at this, it's like, oh, she not playing no games. Like, she back now. Like, I got a track, I got a record on the project called Back Now. Like, she really back now, for real. Like, yeah, I'm like, mm. it's no games. Have you ever dropped an EP on uh, any project, on any platforms? So I've, on, I've only dropped, like, singles and SoundCloud. videos. Um, no, it's on, on on all platforms. Okay. But it's not a project. So I don't have any albums out. I don't have any EPs out. Just singles and music videos and freestyle videos. So You're a battle rapper, you said. Well, that was my first battle rap, but I love watching battle rap. I grew up watching battle rap. Okay. So it inspires the shit out of you. Absolutely. The way they just twist, like, just, ugh, it's the just The wordplay. So, it's grimy, and I love it. All of it. Mm hmm I want to hear you freestyle. All right. We can do that. So we're going to give you a random beat here. Um, we're gonna put a vibe in here. Put the LEDs on you. I'm just gonna give it to you random. Like I said, we never know what we're gonna get. Uh, we never know if we're gonna get some legendary shit. Um, I'm gonna let that. I'm gonna leave that up to you. Uh, right. This is what Let's you're here for. So we're gonna get you a beat. 
This is the Matty Ice Show. You know what we do here. We're giving Jazzy J a random beat. She says she can freestyle, drop some bars. We can do it like this. Okay, so Arizona palm trees made the world look perfect. Had to take my energy back because they ain't deserving. I ain't paid my way through. We organic, so I earned it. Blessed and highly favored. You hear me? Look, I know my purpose. Feel the beat and then I listen. My stories don't be explicit. I glisten when they can feel me. I understand you can hear me, but to take heed, that's different. I take trips, no tripping. I step up, I show out. If it ain't real, we skip it. Look, go crazy, I'm up now Bar for bar is looking like I'm stuck now Breaking bread cause I do what I want now Really be three, really been that, what's up now? Look, bars in the elevation I just got celebratory, I see the decorations I'm coming up with the torch cause I know they tired of waiting Focus on my independence, got a declaration Look, I flow through millies, you feel me? I'm coming hot like I'm chilly If you don't want it, go tip me I'm chewing up like I'm Jimmy I'm cashing out for my stimmy I'm cashing out with the stimmy You know it's Jazzy J, you know it's Jazzy J I'm coming up, look, let me run that back Run it back. Let, let me run that back. That's let, Jazzy J, baby. Let, let's go. Yeah, I flow through millies. You feel me? I'm coming hot like I'm chilly. If you don't want it, don't tip me. I'm chewing out like I'm Jimmy. I'm cashing out with the stimmy. You hear me? But do you feel me? I'm stacking up for my city. Screenshot my face because it's pretty. Yeah, Jesse J. Yeah, yeah. On her way. Said I've been out for a minute, but I'm back now. <laughs> been out for a minute, but I'm back now. Yeah, been out for a minute, but I'm back now. Yeah, been out for a minute, but I'm back now. Look, like, been out for a minute, but I'm back now. Bitch, I'm black and Puerto Rican, then we get swapped. I told them hoes, don't tell me nothing, cause I'm it now. <laughs> Made the steak face to my song, cause I'm the shit now. Yeah. Woo! Chessie J. Yeah, yeah, on her way. <laughs> She's back. Yes, sir, I'm back now. Frozen October 29th. Is it illegal coming soon? You know what the deal is, man. Chessie J. Yo, this shit's illegal as fuck. <laughs> Be real with you. You know the vibe. Jazzy J, bro, yo. I'm a fan. I'm a big fan. I appreciate you. She made it cold in the studio. That's Jazzy J. That Project Frozen is dropping the 29th. Make sure you stream it. She just did that off the top. <laughs> one rip, one take. Man, Sir. I'm a fan now. <laughs> I'm a fan now. I appreciate it. I'm a fan. <laughs> no doubt. All right, yo, you can perform. You got this. <laughs> now you now you got to you got to go all the way. I got you. <laughs> you got this, bro. You're talented as fuck. I thank you. I appreciate, appreciate you it. coming. I love getting content like this. Damn. Okay. I appreciate you. You no fire about it. Yo, we got Jazzy J in here right now. She's fire. I'm being real with you. That was that has to be. You're right there with the elites here. This is this is great performance. Right at the top. Um, 20 year old. Turning 21 October 20th. Happy birthday. Uh, I'll be in Vegas. Um, we got the Bel Air here. You see what it is? Um, man, <laughs> I, love the, I love these interviews, bro, because these, these are the ones, like I said, you never know what you're going to get. We got right. it. Uh, we're going to look back at this in a couple years and be like, damn, this was a classic. Um, the 29th, your project's coming. Is it illegal? Sometime soon. We'll look for that. Make sure you guys follow Jazzy J. If you're an artist, tap in with her. Um, this is the time to get a feature with her. But um, Absolutely. You got anything you want to let your fans know? Anything at all? You see it right there. W O A H Jazzy J. That's it. We coming. Follow her. She's coming. She's back, by the way. <laughs> uh, and we're frozen, so we did it. <laughs> we did it. We <laughs>